Hey everyone, welcome to another Clean Machine Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine. This video is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to treat, cure, prevent, uh, or diagnose any disease. All right, got that out of the way. So this is a pretty interesting one because this is a brand new study. Um, this study is looking at a substance uh, metabolite in our guts called urolithin A. There's a couple of different types of urolithins, urolithin A, urolithin B, and some other urolithins too as well. But let's take a look at urolithin A because this new study just showed that it increased muscle strength by 12%. Now, some of you might think 12%, big deal. That's not, that's not very impressive. Well, so uh, even at 60, uh, being a 37 year vegan, um, I declined bench press on the machine, not on a, a barbell, but I declined bench press about 450 pounds. Well, 12% would be 50 pounds more. That would be moving from 450 to 500 pounds just by consuming strawberries or walnuts <laughs> or pomegranate. Okay, that would be pretty impressive to me. So um, even though it may not seem like a big deal, 12% increase in strength, especially for professional athletes or those of you who really want to get more out of the gym. Look, we know you're busy. We know you don't want to spend two hours in the gym. So if you shrink that time, you want to get the most out of your workout, right? You want to get the most benefits out of your workout. So what is urolithin? Where does it come from? And how does it work? All right, so let's talk about what urolithin is. So urolithins are intestinal microbial metabolites. What does that mean? It means that when you eat food, it goes into your gut and the microbes in your gut, in your microbiome, eat it or break it down, metabolize it, and then poop out or create metabolites. And it's those metabolites that they make from the food that you eat um, that actually have the benefits. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. So if you got a 12% increase in strength and you say, okay, well, I'll just eat some pomegranate and get that 12, not so fast. All right. By eating foods that convert to urolithins actually may not work for the average person on a standard American diet. Why is that? The microbiome. When you have a specific diet, like the standard American diet, which is high in meat and, and fats from animals, it shifts the microbiome into a different stasis. And when you have lower amounts of those microbes that actually do the conversion of, uh, of ellagic acid, ellagic acid is what's in strawberries and and walnuts and pomegranates especially very high in ellagic acid and ellagitanins these are the two compounds polyphenols that the body uses as antioxidants but also feeds them to the um, microbes in the gut. Now, if you're eating a lot of plants, well, then you're raising the amount of microbes that do that conversion of uh, converting ellagic acid into urolithin A, and that giving you the strength benefits. So it may only be possible to get that urolithin A in high enough levels to result in that by consuming a mostly plant-based diet so that you shift the microbiome to a high amounts of microbes that do that conversion. Those microbes feed on plant materials, polyphenols, oligosaccharides, fiber, prebiotic fibers. That's what they feed on. So when you feed them lots of plant fibers, plant uh, polyphenols, plant oligosaccharides, then they increase and they can do a lot more conversion of this ellagic acid that is in strawberries, walnuts, and pomegranate into the urolithin A, giving you that increased strength. So this is just one more example that eating a high plant-based diet or even better, an exclusively plant-based diet or vegan diet, a plant pure diet 
that you would be having a high amount of these microbes that do the conversion into lactic acid and making us even stronger. Now, this may be one of the key uh, foundational mechanisms that are involved in animals like gorillas who are 10 times stronger per body weight than human beings are. Don't quote me on that. It's rough. I'm just doing a rough quote, maybe more, maybe less than that, but a lot more, multiple times more strength per their body weight than humans. And why is that? Maybe because they're nearly plant exclusive diet. Yes, they do eat some bugs and things like that occasionally, but predominantly fruits and greens uh, throughout their, their entire life. That may be what's causing that microbial change, producing metabolites by the gut bacteria that is fed all of these plant nutrients, polyphenols, fiber, and oligosaccharides and starches. Those then feed and elevate that gut bacteria, which elevate the amount of metabolites that are produced by that, which elevates the strength. So this is how it works. And this is why they tried, okay, so what if we just take the um, urolithins and manufacture them ourselves, use microbes outside the body and and uh, actually create this urolithin A outside the body and then add it? Well, then it works and you don't have to depend on the microbes in the gut. The, the issue, though, is that you'd have to keep constantly taking it. Why not just eat a higher plant-based diet or more plant foods, raise those microbes that can do the conversion of, uh, of the ellagic acid and the ellagic tannins? Ellagic acid and ellagic tannins are only found in plants. They are not found at all in any animal product. No meat, dairy, eggs, fish, poultry, nothing from an animal contains ellagic acid. So this is really unique to the plant kingdom and, and not all plants actually contain ellagic acid and ellagic tannins. There are only a few specific ones that do that, mostly berries and nuts. So again, these are two food groups I strongly stand behind. I'm a big fruit eater. I eat probably uh, 30 to 60% sometimes of my uh, calorie intake comes from fruits and nuts. So really important to get more of those in. They've shown longevity. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So let's go ahead and dive into the study first. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the study on the screen so that you can see it. This is the actual study on the screen here. So Cell Reports Medicine Study. This is where it was published. Urolithin A improves muscle strength, exercise performance, and biomarkers of mitochondrial health in a randomized trial in middle-aged adults. Um, so they used 90 healthy, overweight, standard American diet, right? <laughs> overweight, middle-aged adults, and they found a 12% increase in strength. Now, it wasn't just the strength. This is good news for endurance athletes as well, is that it increased uh, the distance for cycling up to 15%. So this is really good too, because we're seeing a lot of the endurance athletes really succeed and get even higher levels on plant-based diet. And obviously people like Rich Roll and uh, uh, Brendan Brazier and many different endurance athletes, uh, Scott Jurek, are, are doing endurance accomplishments that no other human being have, have ever accomplished and doing so on a plant-based diet. So this may be one of those mechanisms. All right, so great for muscle strength, great for endurance athletes. Let's also take a look at what the mechanism is for that. Why is it doing this? Well, this is where it gets interesting because the mechanism of action for urolithin A's is a thing called, um, oh, what is it? Uh, what are those? Sorry, bear with me for just one moment. I'll refer to my notes. I got to brain blank. Uh, it's called uh, mitophagy. Okay. All right. Mitophagy, which is mitochondrial uh, tearing down. When you have mitochondria, what are mitochondria? Okay. Mitochondria are little powerhouses. They make all the ATP. That's the energy currency for every cell in the human body. That's what our cell, think of it as the electrical current. It generates all that currency in the ATP uh, is inside the mitochondria. So the more mitochondria you have in the cell, the more it can produce 
energy for the cell. And that's what's giving the strength. It increases the renewal of, it's called mitophagy, uh, or there's another word called autophagy, which is the cell breakdown and renewal. The body tearing down inferior or poorly working uh, mitochondria, the powerhouses of our body, tearing them down, allowing renewed ones that work better. So we know through science that fasting and uh, long-term plant-based diets can increase autophagy, which is this turnover of bad cells, misfunctioning cells. That's part of the aging process. As you get poorer and poorer amount of cells that are not functioning property, you properly, you get less and less energy creation. And that's where you lose energy, you lose strength, you lose health because your body can't repair. You, remember, your body repairs with energy. And if you, you are not producing enough energy to purchase that repair, right, with that energy currency, ATP, it doesn't repair as well. It doesn't repair as fast, as quickly. It doesn't recover as quickly. So this is really important that these urolithins are causing the renewal of these mitochondria and they increase in the number of mitochondria. This is what gives us strength because strength requires a lot of energy. The energy has to be produced by the mitochondria and the urolithin A is supporting the renewal and revitalization of these mitochondria in our body that produce energy. You want more energy? Back off of the caffeine and start doing fruits and nuts. And you're going to get more energy because you're boosting up your body's ability to produce more of its own natural, real energy, ATP. Remember, caffeine and stimulants cause you to burn up energy faster. Yes, it feels like energy because you're using more energy, but you're not creating more energy. Big difference. What you want to do to feel great over a long period of time is to create more energy, not burn up or use more energy through stimulations. That's actually gonna run your energy levels down. You want to create, and that's why these plants with these phytonutrients like elagic acid can support through our healthy microbiome. Remember, this only happens when you have the right microbiome. I'm gonna pull this up on the screen because this is a direct quote. However, not everyone has the right microflora to be able to make the metabolite urolithin A. Why is that? Because we're eating crap. We're eating animal products that increase pathogenic bacteria. And those pathogenic bacteria compete for the food and suppress the good fiber eating bacteria. Remember a standard American diet is sorely deficient in polyphenols, in fiber, in starches, in oligosaccharides, all of the things that feed are good guys in our gut. When you reduce, when you increase the amount of animals, you are decreasing by default the amount of food that actually feeds those good bacteria that produce all these wonderful metabolites. Now, this is where it gets really good. So mitochondria is so important for our overall health and healing. I'm going to put this next one on the screen. The beneficial effects of elagic acid are associated with multi-target actions that involve anti-inflammation, antioxidants, and even anti-cancer effects. That's right, heme iron which is known a known carcinogen creating nitrosamines in the gut. Nitrosamines are a toxic chemical that can alter our DNA and cause the creation of cancer cells. These can be reversed and protected against. Here, I'll put up the study so that you can actually see what the study is, says. This study, gut microbiota conversion of dietary elagic acid into bioactive Phytoceutical urolithin A inhibits heme iron peroxidase. Peroxidase is when that iron oxidizes and becomes very chemically toxic in the gut. This is why heme iron is actually a cancer causer of colorectal cancer. 
So what this ellagic acid does is actually bind to it and stops it from cancer causing. What a beautiful thing. So even if you are eating meat that, or, or fish or chicken or eggs uh, that all contain heme iron that is super toxic and can cause colon cancer, this consumption of strawberries, uh, of, of nuts or of pomegranate, these things that contain these elagitanins can protect and prevent them. It's right there in the study, right on the screen. So this is really exciting and that would be cool enough as it is, but this is probably the most exciting of it. Yes, so you've got anti-cancer agent, antioxidant, anti-inflammation, but the, the, biggest part is this right here, directly from the study. These are all quotes directly from the study, haven't changed them. So I put them in quotation. Anything that I put into this, I will always put in brackets and not in quotation, just so you know. These biomarkers indicate how urolithin A supplementation, in this case, because that's what the study was, was using supplementation, but this can be done by the gut if you are eating a high plant, high fiber, whole food plant-based diet offers a potential dual benefit, not only for muscle health and improving mitochondrial function, while acting to reduce age-related chronic inflammation, which they call inflam aging. Inflammation is a key cause to the aging process. That's right. So this amazing little fruit and nut <laughs> along with a well-fed microbiome on plant foods can produce anti-aging effects in the body by reducing inflammation that would accelerate the aging process. Okay, that's about as good as it gets. Strength for strength athletes, endurance for endurance athletes, more energy for everyone, and longevity protecting against cancer and, and using as an antioxidant. What's not to like? Remember though, the important part of this is, this doesn't happen in those on a standard American diet. That's why they used supplementation in this because those eating a standard American diet have shifted their microbiome to too low a production of this because they're not eating enough fiber, polyphenols and plant phytoactives. It's not feeding them enough to get them to rise up to produce the metabolites. And this is why when you switch to a more plant-based diet, you're going to be producing more of those metabolites that give you that anti-aging effects, higher energy, um, more muscle strength, better endurance. Who, who doesn't want all those positive effects? And this is published human data. This is not animal data. This is not in vitro. Uh, this is real in vivo in human data. And this is pretty exciting because it's really simple. <laughs> Eat good, whole, healthy plant foods. Or yes, in this case, the was using a supplement. But why use the supplement when you can get these effects all day, every day, just by consuming a majorly plant-based or an exclusively plant-based diet? This is why I am all about plant-based fitness nutrition. Because when you consume a purely plant-based diet, your microbiome shifts, and then it produces more of these beneficial metabolites that increase not only your health, but your performance. That's why I talk about plant-based fitness nutrition, so that you can get the best out of life, longevity, anti-cancer, uh, uh, getting endurance and fitness, strength and health benefits. That's all the way across the board. That's mo what most people are looking for, including more energy, even into later life. As we age on a standard American diet, our amount of mitochondrial health declines. What if you're eating a plant-based diet and feeding all this and creating all these metabolites in your gut, in a healthy plant-based gut, that then feeds the cells to produce all these mitochondria, how fast you can heal, how fast you can recover. Look, I'm 60 years of age. I am lifting more weight than I did when I was in my 30s by far. And in this, in my skin, look how smooth. Look how smooth my skin, no wrinkles. 60 years of age, <laughs> yeah, almost 60. And you know, this is what happens when you consume all these amazing plant 
polyphenols, phytonutrients, uh, tannins, uh, all these different forms of phytochemicals that are just feeding our healthy gut, increasing that bacteria, increasing what they produce as metabolites, and then helping you uh, live a healthy, prosperous, full of energy, full of vitality life. That's what I want for you. And as always, that's why I share this information so that you hopefully can go out and share this information with other people, turn them on to how to live a healthier, happier, more intense, stronger life just by consuming plants that are specifically certain plants like, uh, like pomegranate that are high in these elagitanins that produce these wonderful benefits. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I hope this is just one more uh, tool in your, your chest to show people the wonderful benefits of a plant-based diet. Remember, it, it's not just eating the plants. You have to eat enough of them, a higher plant-based diet. That's why we know human beings are herbivores. Because yes, we can eat animal products. But when we do, we're suppressing the benefits that come from the plant products. So eating more of the plant, or even better yet, just plants, is what the human body and what the microbiome requires. There is no fiber in animal products. There is no starches in animal products. There are no polyphenols in animal products. These are what feed our good bacteria. It's our gut. Our gut is telling us what food to put in there. And they're producing all kinds of additional beneficial metabolites that help our body thrive, survive, and renew so that we can live long and prosperous and healthy lives. That's the gift of nature, is that these plants are healing us, are boosting our body's ability to perform at top levels. That's what we can get out of plants. And every time you choose an animal product over a plant product, you are downgrading that potential for your life. You are lessening your body's energy production. You are lessening your body's ability to protect against cancers. You are lessening your body's ability to heal and repair itself. Why do that? Why do it at all? That's why it's very clear to me, based on the microbiome, based on the benefits that we're getting out of these plants, it is super abundantly clear that we should only be putting plants into our system. And then when we do, we get benefits we never even experienced when we're eating a standard American diet of plants and animal foods. You just don't get to experience what that high potential is when you are adding animal products, high in animal proteins, high in heme iron, which is actually toxic and cancer causing. And this is in all of them. Heme iron is found in fish, just as much as poultry, just as much as eggs and, and red meat. It's in all of them. So it's not a one type of meat is better. It's not, they all have it. And not only that, plants have phytates in them, which actually can reverse the cancer cells that are caused by the heme iron that is in the animal products. It's so obvious to me through all of this research, how powerfully healing and protective these plant nutrients are, how our microbiome depends on plants, and what we should be putting in our mouths. Clearly, it's plants. And that's why I say we are clearly and obviously physiologically herbivores. And that's what I want to give you. Not to be right or wrong. This is not a pissing contest about my diet's better than yours. No, this is the science. This is how our microbiome works. This is how our own physiology works. This is not me trying to support saying that one diet is better than you. And you know, it's not. this is not a sword contest. <laughs> it's not a sword fight. Come on, let's put aside that ego crap and let's start doing the right thing for our bodies, for the animals, for our health, for our fitness levels, for our longevity, and for the planet. It's a win, 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 win situation. And that's what I want for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up, share it with people so that we can get this message out to people. This is a powerful message. 
more of this science is coming out just showing the incredible benefits of plant uh, nutrition that is only found in plants. And the reverse almost always is happening in animal products where it's actually causing disease states. Would you want to cause disease and lower your body's performance? Or do you want to increase your health and vitality and your fitness levels? It's all there in the plants. Thanks for watching. I'll keep pumping out these videos with lots more of this cutting edge, breaking science. Get it to you first so that you can share it, learn from it, and benefit from it, both in long, healthy life and your fitness goals. Thanks for watching, everyone.